City Lightweight Division. And scheduled for three three minute rounds, referee is Mr. Andy Nichols. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, and hailing from Ignite MMA, making his debut, Molly Flu! So Molly Flu from Ignite MMA in Norwich. Making his MMA debut. Fighting out of the red corner, hailing from London Fight Academy, making his debut. English Tuesday. English Tuesday also making his MMA debut, fighting out of London Fight Academy. Go bring guys to that. Yeah, he's bouncing. He looks like he means business. I think they're going to meet in the middle and throw down straight away. Yeah, Marley looking the more composed of the two currently, but shoots in, gets a body lock. Stuffed so though early, now in on a single. Okay, just doing well to uh, disengage in that strike in. Nice trip there off the kick catch. So, so Eglis on top, Marley looking for a yeah, looks guillotine like he's choke. For guillotine straight away, although he's using the neck to get back to his feet. Eglis looking for, for that outside trip. trip. Yeah, it. Yeah. Mali on his back. Eglis stepping over into a mount. Needs to pull his head free, and he does. That's it. So it's Mali stuck under the mount here now. Yeah, it's right. like uh, Eglis looking for looking a mounted triangle. triangle. And again, we were talking earlier about the long range. These these legs, these long legs. There, it's like fighting a spider sometimes. He's a great job of running the pipe after catching that inside leg kick. Just wants to pop his head out of that guillotine now. Yeah, Marley's using it in the minute just to sort of establish a, a bit of more control and allow himself to get back to the feet. But, you know, he won't be long before he realises that Eglis is sticking that neck out too much and uh, maybe that's just secure the guillotine up. And that's the second single leg in this about a 20 second space. Edwards doing a great job here of just yeah, securing passing, takedowns at will. He's on the side now, looking to step over that arm, maybe get a crucifix. Does a good job of getting the shin on the bicep here. And, and hit some ground and pound from that position, gets the arm trapped. Mali doing a good job to get his arm back. Uh, and mounts now, and it's... Oh, wow. Good knee to the body there from Marley. He's a good job of getting to his feet, does Marley. And oh, these guys are clashing now. Oh, it's a judo throw. throw. There. Nice Beautiful. work from Flew. That was great timing. Scored the head and arm. Sent to a hip toss. He's now mounted. This time, back. It's, this time it's Eglis who gives up his back. Marley now, ground and pound. Edwards opts to take a lay down approach, ends up on his back, and now it's Marley inside control using a bit of head pressure. Tight hips. Straight into a mount from Straight Marley. Straight into the mount. This is huge for Marley. Yeah, it's a good position to finish the round on, isn't it? So 10 Some seconds left. Pound. Edwards again with their long limbs looking to throw and pin. Just trying. Finishes Good in a strong round, position, yeah. First round. I mean, it, it was Edless that oh, was securing the takedowns, but yeah, absolutely. I think Mali possibly secured that round with the last 20 seconds there. The yeah. the control, and the, the top position, and the ground and pound. Um, but that was a great first round from both athletes. Both fighters just receiving some instructions from the coaches. Eglis look, got a little bit of damage under his left eye. No touching gloves. 
Needs a little jab there, does Edlis, but straight inside from the clinch. Gets his head tied up. Yeah, his head position is a little bit better this time. He's, he's a little bit tighter and a little bit higher up. Although it looks like Mal is looking to uh, go for that front headlock position again. He reverses his opponent. Good nice. knees to the body there from yeah, Mal. Nice knee on the inside. Tries to pick up a single leg of his own and hits a trip. Successfully. Puts Edlis in the turtle That's position, it. straight to the back. Yeah, good transition, that was nice and fast. A uh, little bit high on his man here, but he's got one hook secured now. Looking to feed that arm under the neck. Edlis nice. tried to throw him over, nearly succeeded yeah, there. Yeah, nearly got that then. Uh, Marley looking to make sure he stays on the back. Again, still a little bit high up here. He needs to be careful he doesn't get thrown off, but Edwards does a good job of scrambling. Yeah, scrambling back onto a single leg. Mali manages to sprawl back. Looks like he's going to take the back again. Yeah, he doesn't have the back so much this time. It's, it's going to result in, there you go, an open guard position now for Edwards, who's driving Mali into the fence. to pull the legs out, that one at least. That's it, Marley just uh, again using that front headlock position to sort of control his man and try and get his, himself back to the feet. Well, Edwards has done a good job here, he's trying to trap the legs yeah, now, maybe mermaid them, but... Trying to stay on top of me and just uh, keep flute against the uh, cage. Marley doing a good job so far, I'm just trying to keep him uh, range and for a scissor sweep, for a scissor there. sweep there, yes, yeah. Dave. But quite so far, it. it's Edless's uh, positioning that's and it. Yeah, pressure. I'm, 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 I'm quite shocked to be honest that Molly's not actually tried to secure that guillotine up and just make it a little bit more of a threat rather than a few times his arms he's been used actually it to get up to his chin. feet. Yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah. Well, he's trying to work his butterflies here, but finds himself in half guard now on the bottom. Look for another sweep. He's quite active off his back. He, but yeah, he's got a nice active guard. He just, uh, I think Eglis at the minute is just managing to secure position and just keep his man pinned on on his back. But both fighters are, are expelling a lot of energy here. Yeah, there's a lot of work um, going on. Yeah, there is. But it's Edlis right now that's in control. Marley Flute doing a good job of utilising his legs. Trying to stay busy, but ultimately find himself on the bottom. Yeah, I mean most of that round, Dave. Yeah, I, th I think I think that's one round of peace, to be honest with you. I think so. I think it's all to play for now in the third round. Both fighters are physically, physically fatigued. Um, you know, they're just getting some instructions off the coaches. It's how much of that information is actually now going in. Um, you know yourself when you're tired, your mind sort of tends to shut down and the only thing you can concentrate on is breathing and trying not to. Yeah. It's definitely more difficult taking information yeah. and yeah. direction, but. Yeah, I actually think, um, and I'm not sure, but I think Matt Mallory's coach has just said to him, you know, that guillotine's on, you know, try yeah. to secure it. it like that's what he was saying to him. Um, and, and I would agree 100% there. Um, Eglis, he, he I mean, just Eglis needs to is putting thinking. his head in that position, that's isn't it, he? You know, and, and, and at the minute, because there's no threat of a submission, he's getting away with it. However, well, so far it's Fluke that opens up. Marley sprawls heavy there over Eglis' takedown attempt. And ends up on top position. Oh, so he landed a nice body kick before uh, Edwards shot in on that takedown. Edwards doing a decent job here using his legs just to not allow the mount to happen. And got a bit of a half guard going on here now. Maybe a butterfly might sneak in, but Marley flew ups to back out and try and pass. Looks like he's got to the mount. It's quite high up as well. Now he's on the back mount, sits back a little bit, hooks her in. Body triangle secure. Yes. 
No, this is not uh, a good a position to be in. No, I think, especially when you're fatigued. Egris is in a tough spot now in yeah, that body triangle. Looks like he's trying to secure that choke. It's on the jaw at the minute, so he's got to be careful not to put it on and get a neck crank. But uh, little short shots here. And if he gives him a few little chipping shots and just tries to make him move his head so he can get that. that body triangle looks super tight. Yeah, he did a nice bit high up from one side to the other. Eglis defending well, but unfortunately, defending well, he's not winning the fight. He's not winning the round, so uh, Mali looking to flatten his opponent out now. Uh, and it's under yeah, the neck now, he's got the short choke on. And there yeah, it is. Great performance from Mali. Yeah. Through, overcame a bit of adversity yeah, there. Does. That was a good fight. That was a good fight, you know. Uh, Great fight. Both were evenly matched. Both had some success with the, the striking. The wrestling and the scrambling was very, very equal for the first part, but Marley just seemed to take over a little bit. I don't know whether it was because yeah. he was a little bit fitter or a little bit fresher or... Yeah, I um, don't think he fatigued as quickly and no, he looked stronger yeah, in, the, in a lot yeah. of the grappling exchanges, you know. Yeah, and that's it, and it's... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, your winner as a result of a submission with a rear naked choke coming 1 minute and 32 seconds into the third and final round and fighting out of the blue corner, Fruit! And give it up for Eglis Trudy! Wow, great fight that. Yeah, great fight, back and forth for most of it.